consequences in a way to help me grow. I mean, it's just amazing what God has done. And so he put the name Child of Mercy in my heart, and that's the name of our band, the name of our ministry. I'm a child of mercy. And, you know, it wasn't until after my fall that I really, truly realized the love, the depth of love that God has and his mercy. I mean, it's just overwhelming how, how huge that, that, it, that it is. And I just didn't, you know, grasp it until after all that. So God's opening a lot of doors for us to share that message and get out there and um, encourage people that feel like, you know, they just messed up so bad and, you know, and all that. So God is really good, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, amen. <laughs> um, so, here's the last slide. Um, you know what? I, I'm learning now the true meaning of love. You know, I had a false concept of love for so many years, and I think a lot of young girls and, and women too, my age and even older than me, have this false concept of love, and they don't realize that only God can meet that deep need perfectly. Relationships are awesome, don't get me wrong, but only God, we have to put our expectation in God and not in other people. We've gotta take that off of the other, the, off the people and put it on God. And so I'm learning the meaning of love, and love is so much deeper than what our world tells us, than what the media tells us. You know, you go to the movies, and what do you see? You see uh, new love, right? Almost every movie has this fresh new love, that emotion, that, that drive and everything. But I've learned that that's awesome, but love is committed, and love sticks it out. And love is so much deeper than just that emotion, right? And we, we know about that love with Jesus and what he did for us on the cross and dying for our sins, right? But you know, I want to leave this last thought with you. I thought it was so, so neat. The Bible says that we love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. I want to suggest this. I don't believe that we can truly love God the way that he commands us to. You know, the greatest commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. I don't believe that we can truly, fully love God that way until we've had an encounter with him, until we've experienced his love for us. We know in our heads, right? We know the story of Jesus dying on the cross. We know that's awesome, right? But until that heart connection happens, until that happens when we surrender, when we give our lives over to Jesus, when we surrender to him, that's when that happens. Until we have that heart connection, we can't love him the way he commands us to love him, right? So we're destined to be loved. He's going to love us the way we need to be loved. We love him the way we need to love him. And then guess what? The second commandment is like the first. Love your neighbor as yourself. So you see the process? He loved us, we love him, we love our neighbors, and ultimately, we can love our enemies. So love is a process. Love is what life is all about. You guys, if you can get that now, whatever God's doing in your life, it's because he's working out love somehow, either to love him more, to love others more, whatever it is, the goal in life is love. So, Anyway, I have really enjoyed coming here today and sharing my story with you guys. I hope it's helped some of you. Um, I'm going to close in prayer. And then if anybody, you know, wants to talk after, um, I'll be available for a little bit. Um, so let's pray.